welcome the LSB Feasters Radio Channel and Travel Corner, where we keep great radio from the past alive. And today, it's legendary WLS Chicago. What a great radio station this was. People in the Midwest loved it. And WLS had so many legendary personalities that worked there over the years. Uh, John Records Landecker, Fred Winston, uh, Tommy Edwards, Jeff Davis, and many, many others. But for many WLS fans, there was only one jock that had his name above all the others, and that was the super jock, Uncle Lair. Yes, the one and only Larry Lujak. Larry Lujak was actually on the air in Seattle. And in 1967, he left KJR Seattle and took over the evening shift at WCFL Chicago, beginning a relationship with the Midwest that would last for decades. Larry was crusty. He was cantankerous. He was ornery. And Chicago loved it. Lujak's actually said to have influenced many current day radio personalities like Rush Limbaugh and Howard Stern. For several years, Larry bounced back and forth between WCFL and WLS, but it was in 1976 when he made WLS his home, and he spent many years waking Chicago until 1987 when he moved to New Mexico. Larry was inducted into the Radio Hall of Fame in 2004, and around 2000 he actually returned to radio in Chicago for a while at WRLL playing oldies. He was one of a kind, and if you've never heard him, here's your opportunity. Uh, if you like what you hear, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel too if you like, and after you do, smack that bell. And you will be notified whenever we post anything new. All right, let's go back to the 1980s with Super Jock Uncle Lair, Larry Lujak on 89 WLS Chicago. Yesterday, the FTC approved Texaco's plans to purchase Getty Oil Company, the biggest merger in American corporate history. Already, there's a challenger. Arco wants to buy Gulf Oil, and that would be even bigger. Giving up on singles bars or your local health club is a way to meet Ms. or Mr. Wright. In Southern California, they've started something called Freeway Singles. You're supposed to put a sticker on your car with your Freeway Singles number on it, and then when someone spots you and likes what they see, they can get in touch through the club. The founder says it's just like going into a store and picking out what you want. The real McCoy is dead. Jim McCoy, patriarch of the feuding McCoy clan, has died in West Virginia at the age of 99. Guess who's handling the funeral? The Hatfield Funeral Home. The Hatfields and the McCoys officially buried the hatchet to their decades-long feud back in 1976. What did you get your Valentine? I found a lot of Chicagoans headed for Fannie Mae, but some with a more unique gift idea, like a traffic cop whose sweetheart is getting a box of Diamond Jacks. Diamond Jacks? Have you heard of Diamond Jacks? Diamond Jacks is some caramel corn that has a precious gem. Each box has a precious gem inside of it. And uh, it could be anywhere from a $5 ruby to a $5 emerald. Or it could be a $1,000, 0.75 carat diamond. And then there's this approach to declaring one's affection. A leather outfit. A leather outfit? That's pretty sexy. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's why I'm getting the one. She's a sexy young lady. Along those lines, lingerie is selling big in a lot of stores. Lacy panties, red G-strings, that sort of thing. As one saleswoman said, this time of year, anything erotic sells. She got your ready spurs and a whip, too? <laughs> Behind in your taxes and worried that Uncle Sam may seize your property? Maybe this will work for you. It certainly did for a businesswoman in Portland yesterday. She was afraid the IRS was going to take her car away, so she chained herself to an immovable object in the IRS office and stayed there until she was assured she could keep her car. WLS radar weather, mostly sunny, continued mild today. Fair and pleasant tonight, partly sunny, even warmer tomorrow. Today's high, 55. Tonight's low, 37. The high tomorrow, 58. Right now, it's 38 under sunny skies in Chicago. Video is brought to you by United Airlines. You're not just flying, you're flying the friendly skies. I'm Jeff Hendricks. And I'm Catherine Johns. Now WLS Skyview Traffic with Don Nelson. Catherine, the expressways are clearing up nicely. If you're uh, on the Stevenson, the delay right now from Kedzie on into Damon, the Ryan is clearing up nicely 15 minutes in from 95th Street. The Eisenhower, though, still hanging on. Heavy, slow traffic. Mannheim most of the way into Costner. 25 minutes, Mannheim into the post office. The inbound Kennedy, slow around the junction. Heavy again, Belmont to Fullerton. Express lanes looking much better. The Edens Expressway on the slow side from Devon on in. 
If you're uh, traveling there, 15 minutes stems through Montrose and South by Lakeshore Drive. Still running slow from the Oak Street Curve to Ohio. Some midday work a little bit later on today on the Eisenhower, the 290 extension. Between the Circle Interchange all the way out to Route 83, one or two lanes may be blocked at various locations as they move along between 930 and 330. That's WLS Skyview Traffic brought to you by Interstate Transmission. Interstate Transmissions, the transmission specialist you can trust. See your yellow pages for any one of the interstate dealers who will give you the warranty you deserve. Larry Lutek in the morning at 9 04. 7 we've got details coming up on how you can win your $1,000 share of over 70000 here at WLS. WLS, where Brant Miller counts down the top nine songs every night at 9 o'clock on WLS. The most requested songs each night, and they start taking votes every night at 7. Animals. Stories this hour at about a quarter till 10, a late morning edition of the Cheap Trashy Showbiz Report, including the story on Elton John's wedding today. After a couple more songs, it's 9-11. Opportunity. Wanted. Regional sales manager. Salary, $50,000 plus bonus. Opportunity. Wanted. Computer programmer, three or more years experience, $36,000. Opportunity. Wanted. Marketing manager, pharmaceuticals. Salary, $45,000. Opportunity is knocking in the sun times. Special career opportunities come knocking on your door every Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday in the Chicago Sun-Times. Because that's when you'll see our exciting new job recruitment section, Professional Opportunities. Not only is our handy tab size section filled with the best professional and managerial job offerings in the Midwest, but with articles on subjects like careers, salaries, and the job market. To help you get the best job, the Sun-Times new Professional Opportunities section does the best job. Opportunity is knocking in the sun times. Ah, that fresh caught flavor of delicious seafood from Eagle. Tasty perch. Deliciously mild binder. Sweet tender white fish. Savory trout. Tender red snapper. And so much more. Succulent, fresh seafood from Eagle. How many years can you add to your water softener's life? New advanced Morton pellets with System Saver formula could hold the answer. Morton pellets are 99.5% pure, now with System Saver. Two continuous cleansing ingredients that fight mineral buildup and help keep your softener clean and problem-free. After all, who knows more about salt than Morton? New Morton pellets with System Saver. As soon as you start adding it to your softener, you could start adding to your softener's life. WLS, who is this? 15th caller. Hey. Hey. You got $1,000. I do? You do? What's your name? Scott Wallenberg. Where do you live, Scott? Rockford, Illinois. $1,000 dollars go a long way in Rockford. Yeah, hey, I know any time. <laughs> do you have a WLS card? No, I don't. Uh, it would have been worth another 100 bucks. I know it. <laughs> Too bad for you. Not for me, I'll take 1000 now. <laughs> no matter where you live or what you do, we have your winning songs on WLS. Two is all it takes to get you $1,000, and it's incredibly easy. Just listen for two winning songs back-to-back, and be the 15th caller when you hear the second song of the pair begin. It's worth $1,000 in free money, plus an extra $100 if you have a WLS card. We'll tell you in advance what two songs to listen for each day, the exact hour we'll play them, and what phone number to use. So listen, beginning each weekday morning with Larry Newjack. Hey, Scott. Yeah. You loan me 10 bucks? Hey, I'll loan you 20. <laughs>
station for the concerts welcomes the police to the Rosemont Horizon this coming Sunday. Concert is a sellout. No more tickets for sale. However, WLS has some free police concert tickets you can call in to win this afternoon after 3 o'clock with Tommy Edwards. Mostly sunny, continued mild today with a high of about 55 degrees. Even warmer tomorrow and more sunshine. Wednesday's high about 58. Current temperatures up to 38 at O'Hare, 42 at the lakefront under a sunny sky. Light wind out of the south. At only five miles an hour, cheap, trashy showbiz. Next, 922. From now on, it's war. Next, on 7th Avenue. We're going into business for ourselves. Jay marries his way to riches. You are pushy, aren't you? And sleeps his way to ruin. I'm a married woman, Jay. A Channel 7 television event continues. I am in hock up to my ears, Mr. Fredericks. If you don't give me these outlets, I am going to be a ruined man. Stephen Keats, Jane Seymour. You want money, you take chances. 7th Avenue. Today at 3, only on Channel 7. Channel 7's got what it takes to make the nighttime great. Starting with Chicago's best, Floyd Calver with the news, Steve Deschler on weather, and Tim Weigel with sports on Eyewitness News at 6. Then the winning's just beginning with a 6.30 fun on the Wheel of Fortune. See what it takes to turn high stakes and big breaks into prize-winning, money-grabbing good times. It's Chicago's hot new nighttime combo, the Wheel of Fortune at 6.30, right after Eyewitness News at 6, only on Channel 7. If it's important to you, it's important to you. You're looking for the very best, and nothing less will do. Important things that mean a lot, from your friends at Jewel to you. When the weather outside is frightful, you need a meal that's delightful. A meal that features USDA choice beef from Jewel. Like hearty chuck blade roast, the ideal choice to satisfy your hungry crew. Through Wednesday... Chuck Blade Roast is just 95 cents a pound. Now, how can you add a bit of summertime to your winter meal? With bunches of goodness. Grapes from the farm stand market. Through Wednesday, Thompson Green Seedless and Red Flame Seedless Grapes are only 98 cents a pound. Chuck Blade Roast and Plump Juicy Grapes. The perfect combination to perk up winter meals from Jewel. If it's important to you, it's important to you. Search presents The Encounter. The cruise was just what I needed. Lots of fun and no phones. I took a search while unpacking. Lucky I did, because suddenly... Oh, excuse me, is this cabin 415? Next door, but welcome to the neighborhood. Only great-tasting search has a glistening drop of Retson, plus fresh, clean flavor to get your breath fresh enough to go face-to-face. So we are next-door neighbors. Yeah, for the whole cruise. Certs and sugar-free certs for breath that's face-to-face fresh. If you want her heart to beat a little faster this Valentine's Day, give her a heart from Zales. If you want to say, be mine, give her Zales. Only Zales, the world's largest jeweler, can speak so beautifully for you for as little as $49.95. With heart pendants, diamond hearts, puffed hearts of 14 karat gold, even hearts of precious stone. This Valentine's Day, give her Zales, because Zales, the diamond store, is all you need to know. P.S. You can charge it. Get a master plumber toilet seat for only $444 as the February hardware value of the month, while supplies last at participating True Value Hardware stores and home centers. 925 at WLS, time for the late morning edition of Larry Lujak's award winning cheap, trashy showbiz report. Let's go to press. In Sydney, Australia, Elton John was married today in a sunset ceremony just four days after proposing to his new bride. Elton is 36. She's 30. It says here that Elton wore a white frock coat, a striped lilac and white shirt, and a straw hat with a lilac hat band. Arrived 20 minutes before the wedding in a white limo. His bride arrived a few minutes later in a white Rolls Royce clad in a traditional white wedding dress. 3,000 white roses and hundreds of orchids were flown in from New Zealand to decorate the church and the reception. Hotel officials said the bill for the flowers alone was 10 thou. Elton's manager, John Reed, was the best man. Meanwhile, the Chicago Tribune's Inc. column says that Elton's new bride will be moving out of her $50 a week studio apartment in a working class section of London into Elton's $3 million mansion in Windsor, just a stone's throw from the castle. And Elton, who once confessed that he was bisexual, asked his mother to fix herself a stiff drink before he told her the news of his upcoming marriage. 
Elton's mum reported to be thrilled and quoted as saying it's just what his life lacked. Another Valentine's Day romance story from Cup's column in the Chicago Sun-Times this morning. Cup reports that Gary Deeb, Channel 7 media commentator, just recently divorced, is already engaged to be married again to some girl named Susan Prill, a Sun-Times entertainment secretary. Birthday today, Jimmy Hoffa, wherever he is, 71. Happy birthday, Jimmy. And in baseball, Baltimore Oriole catcher Rick Dempsey says he's heard rumors that the groundskeeper for the Kansas City Royals is angry and threatening to quit his job because every time he puts the white lines down near home plate, the whole team <laughs> runs out to sniff it up. WLS, where Audrey Bowles of Baraboo, Wisconsin, heard us play the winning songs. Yesterday morning, called us up, won $1,000. Today's winning songs are That's All by Genesis and Joanna by Cool and the Gang. You'll hear them back-to-back sometime after 1 o'clock this afternoon. And if you're the 15th caller, when you hear the second song of the pair begin, we'll send you $1,000. Animal stories in about 15 minutes. So when I do something that touches a child... The black child and the white child who had the same reaction. Debbie Allen's a great dancer. She's a real good dancer. How did five of today's most talented black stars make it to the top? It's all in the way the individual presents themselves as to how they are treated. Is it enough to be at the top? Find out as Al Lerner asks some of the biggest names in show business. Debbie Allen and Lou Ross, Tuesday at 10 on Channel 5. Fred Huber, President, Hans Kessler, Brewmaster for Augsburger Beer. Hans, we've got to go forward with our Augsburger Beer. That's right, Mr. Huber. We've got to go back. No, Hans. I want us moving forward. I completely agree, Mr. Huber. We should move back. Forward. Back. Why move back? Not back. Back. Oh, Augsburger Back. With four different poly malt grains, smooth flavor, voluptuous foam, Augsburger is the best back. That's not enough. We need advertising. You mean we need to back back beer? Especially our bottle back. You mean we need to back our bottle back beer even though it's best? Because it's a battle. You mean... To win the bottled Bach beer battle, we need to back our bottled Bach? Precisely, Hans. What should we do? Book it. You mean we should book backing our bottled Bach beer to win the battle of the best? And keep Augsburger moving ahead. Because we'll be moving Bach. Hans, I'm glad we understand each other. Better believe it, Bunky. If you're in the mood for going out to dinner, here's some exciting news about a special event this week at the Rusty Scupper. A delicious choice prime rib and succulent lobster tail dinner at a fabulous special price. You know the Rusty Scupper, or your friends have told you about it. A place where you can have the juiciest, most flavorful dinners you've ever tasted. A place where your food is cooked to perfection. Your taste buds will tingle at the very first sight. And what's more, everything is served the Rusty Scupper way. Prompt, friendly service in a relaxing atmosphere. Look for the Rusty Scupper coupon ad in this week's paper. Then, cut into a Rusty Scupper dinner without cutting into your budget. See this Thursday Chicago Tribune for the Rusty Scupper coupon ad. That's this Thursday Chicago Tribune for a Rusty Scupper saving you won't want to miss. Larry Lujak, Larry Lujak, Larry Lujak, Larry Lujak, Super Jack. WLS with a reminder that the Alcoholism Treatment Center of Central DuPage Hospital Intervention Team helps problem drinkers who need help. For more information, number call is 653-4000. Animal Stories after the next song. It is 939. Double dipping, double flipping, double fun down at the sunny shore. Double splashing good times. Keep you coming back for more. But the single most favorite double in the world is double good, double good, double mint gum. Double your pleasure with double mint gum. Double good, double fresh, double delicious. Double good, double good. 
Double Mint Gum. Double your pleasure with Double Mint Gum. This is George Barnes. Want to know what your girl would really like for Valentine's Day? Sorry, kid, I'm book solid. But there's something that's just as pretty and smells even nicer. It's a letter holder bouquet from Teleflora. Gorgeous flowers and a beautiful brass letter holder. So she'll always have something nice to hold all your love letters in. Take it from America's number one sex symbol. Give her America's number one Valentine's gift. Teleflora's letter holder bouquet for Valentine's Day at your local florist. If you're looking for a car that tells people where you've been and where you're going in life, see your gallant men of old and take the Cutlass Sierra Love Test. In your heart, you'll know it's you. It's so nice. It could be your perfect roadmate. To be in love again. But are you asking what price, love? At the gallant men of old, very affordable. They know when it comes to money, love isn't blind. That's the very reason the front-wheel drive Cutlass Sierra is becoming one of Chicagoland's hottest cars. Simply makes great sense. For less than you pay for a lesser car, you can drive in the lap of Cutlass Sierra's luxury, styling, and economy. Oldsmobile makes it a car to move your heart. But the gallant men make it a deal to move your mind. And that's a combination you can't beat for love or money. Love my own. Well, Barb, hmm? what do you think Russ is getting you for Valentine's Day? <laughs> Knowing Russ, probably that set of socket wrenches he wants. Oh, romantic. Mm. But what do you want? I can't really decide. That floral sweetheart arrangement I saw at Jewel would be lovely. Is Russ really the sweetheart type? He could try. Or the heart bud vase Jewel has. It was so pretty. Oh, I've always been big on bouquets for Valentine's Day. Oh, do they have Valentine bouquets at Jewel? Just looking at them made me feel good. And Jewel has so many colorful tulips and mums and all kinds of gorgeous green plants. Everything for Valentine's. But how are you going to get Russ to go to Jewel? Do they sell socket wrenches? I've never seen them. Me either. <laughs> well, I'll lie a little. Besides, it's so easy for him to stop at a Jewel on his way home. But suppose he goes to Jewel and then doesn't get you any Valentine flowers. <laughs> oh, Arlene, you don't want to know. Oh, WLS, 16 minutes before 10 o'clock, mostly sunny and continued mild today and tomorrow. High today about 55. Tomorrow even a little warmer with a high of 58. But now, according to the extent of forecast, going to cool off a little on Thursday and Friday, be in the 40s, and Saturday, cold again, with a high only in the 30s. Animal Stories Anchor Men, next, 944. We've got what it takes, true value. If you're still looking for a last-minute gift for your Valentine, you can take advantage of True Value Hardware Store's February Hardware Value of the Month, a Master Plumber Toilet Seat. Now just $4.44. Yes, not only will you impress your loved one with your thoughtful gift, but you'll improve the appearance of her bathroom as well. We're talking quality toilet seat here, my friends, with dial-on, dial-off hinges that make it easy to install or remove for cleaning without the use of complicated tools or hardware. Plus, the master plumber toilet seat from True Value Hardware Stores is constructed of molded wood and has an enamel finish. It's four layers thick for durability. She'll be sitting on this baby for a long time. And you'll find a wide selection of colors from which to choose, so don't put off fixing up the bathroom. Start now by investing in a True Value Master Plumber Toilet Seat. It's only $4.44 during February while supplies last. Exclusively at participating True Value hardware stores and home centers. We've got what it takes, True Value. More of the best. It began as a commitment, and today the best sun times ever is reality, bringing you more every day, more fast-breaking news, more local news, more coverage in sports, and more to read on everything from business and fashion to food and the latest in entertainment. Now more than ever, you need the sun times, so get it today. The sun times, more news you can use. Fruit and meat and we're setting the table for you. No one does Mexican, quite like Peppy's skin. We've always got something new. Tasty surprises at family prices. Discover the pest is near you. 
How long since you've had tostadas at Pepe's? Crispy, open-faced tacos covered with your choice of topping. Pick them up like a pizza. Enjoy. Tostadas at Pepe's. They're good, economical, and hearty. Mm -hmm. How long since you've eaten at Pepe's? Here we are again, the Animal Stories news team anchorman up close and personal. Happy Valentine's Day to you, Tommy. Thanks, Uncle Lear. <laughs> Will you be my Valentine? <laughs> Did you see that story about uh, that koala bear? <laughs> That relieved itself on Jimmy Carter? No, what happened? Our ex-president and his wife, Rosalind, were over in Australia, and they were holding a couple of koala bears posing for photographers, and the one that uh, Jimmy was holding just whizzed on his shirt. <laughs> Big piddle right down the front of his shirt. Oh, geez, a Secret Service wrestle it to the ground? <laughs> Those guys, you don't mess with those guys. <clears throat> Probably just shot it. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a slow day in the animal news. Uh, only other thing here is a story over the wire from San Bernardino, California, where some transient has been arrested on charges that he set fire to some stray dog. Oh, no. Tommy, which... Uh, set the dog on fire, then it ran into a row of abandoned storage buildings, and they went up in flames, too. Oh, gosh. See, the dog ran into a trash pile first and set that on fire, and the fire spread to the buildings. Dog all right? No, a dog had to be terminated. Oh, gee. He's been charged with arson and cruelty to an animal. It being Valentine's Day, I thought a couple of heartwarming love stories might be appropriate. Oh, sure. Here's a story I saw in the Daily Herald over the weekend about Tiny Tim. You mean tiptoe through the tulips, Tim? Yeah. Wow. It's one of those question and answer columns, and somebody from Denver wrote in the following question. I've heard that Tiny Tim is trying to make a comeback and even has said he'd like to star in an erotic movie. Is this true? Also, what about the gossip that one of the things that broke up his marriage to Miss Vicky was a sexual problem he had? Oh, my gosh. Now, before I read this answer, now, this answer surprised me. Now, as I recall, when he and Miss Vicky broke up, Tiny Tim was very upset because she wanted to pose nude for some photographer or something, and he thought that was... Well, she did, didn't she? Yeah, I think It was so. in Playboy, I think. Yeah. And uh, Tim thought that was wicked and sinful. Oh, yeah. And was shocked and outraged. Back then, he was taking like eight showers a day, wasn't he? <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, well, evidently, he's come into the 80s because... Get this answer. Part of the problem Tiny once revealed was Miss Vicky... Uh, this is a quote from Tiny Tim here. I need the type of woman who always makes the first move. A nymphomaniac. Wow. Miss Vicky did make moves, but when I didn't respond, she'd stop. She lacked... <laughs> she lacked perseverance. I need a whip. I'm the type of horse that needs a tough jockey. Wow. She didn't know how to get the best out of me. Tiny. <laughs> As for making an erotic movie, it says here that Tiny Tim would like to co-star in one with former Ivory Soap and now porno picture star Marilyn Chambers. Wow. <laughs> oh, gee. Tiny Tim and Marilyn Chambers. <clears throat> <laughs> Maybe there was a special reason why Tiny got his name, huh? <laughs> Could be. On the subject of kinky sex... I was kind of, well, I was going to say disappointed, but that's the wrong word. I was kind of surprised that we didn't receive an invite to Elton John's wedding today. Yeah. Because Elton always stops by the station uh, whenever he's in Chicago. I don't know him that well. I only met him once, talked to him for about five minutes. But, of course, uh, Elton and Tommy have been very, <laughs> very close for years. 
Didn't he, he, didn't he stay at your house the last, no, time, no. The last time he was here? No, he didn't. He comes up and watches us do animal stories. That's all. <clears throat> <laughs> kind of drools <laughs> when you walk in the room. Boy, I sure, you know what I would have hated? I would have hated to have been the best man at that wedding. Because everybody would be wondering why Elton had selected you as the best man. It's all the time we have for animal and love stories today, boys and girls. Have you seen this girl he's married? No. 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 What is what she looks like? Boy, George. <laughs> Doing it again at this same time tomorrow. <laughs> Until then, this is both of us. Him and me. Saying. So long. Larry Lujak in the morning at WLS AM and FM in Chicago. It's four minutes before 10 o'clock. Susan Platt next on FM 94.7 and Fred Winston on AM 89. And they both got the winning songs coming up here at WLS.